見たわよねえさっきお風呂場でわ私の覗きそう覗きよ私が通報すればあなた逮捕されるのよえ古城若菜通報されたくなかったら私ジュジュに衣装を作りなさい What to do, guys? Pizza Jobs here, and welcome back to another Seiyu Highlights. On this episode, we're gonna talk about another voice actress from an anime that generated quite a lot of buzz Asumi Tanizaki. If you guys heard of a spring 2022 title called Spy X Family, you probably are familiar with Tanizaki san. Since she's the artist behind the adorable voice of the anime season's Moe Bluff that sparked countless of memes. <laughs> oh, and also as Juju from My Dress Up Darling, Vivi, or Diva from Vivi Fluorescent Song, Hinasuru from the Kimetsu no Yaiba Red Light District Arc, and Chise Hatsuri from Ancient Madness Bride. She's a Japanese voice actress who was previously affiliated with Tori Tori Office Talent Agency. They're close by the way. Her birthday is September 27, 1990 and she's from Oita Prefecture in Japan. Initially, Tanizaki-san has had a strong interest in pursuing a career in voice acting after her initial exposure to one of the most influential Maho Sojo anime the Sojo Senshi Seira Moon, in which by the time episode 45 was aired, she was probably old enough to be featured in the reality TV show Hachimete no Oskai. However, there were little resources available at disposal to jumpstart her career as a voice actress. Therefore, in the early days, she simply record voice impressions into cassette tapes to be later played back. Meanwhile, attending high school and working part-time jobs at her hometown, but having lived around a coastal prefecture for the majority of her childhood, it was quite difficult to find good leads into the CU industry. Until one fateful encounter at a concert in her hometown, where she got a chance to meet voice actress Junko Iwao wow. and express her interest in pursuing and even collaborating in said career in which the veteran Seiyu agrees. And so, she decided to take a gamble and move to the bustling metropolis of Tokyo after graduating from high school in her hometown, where she immediately began her journey as a voice actress at the Tokyo Haiyu Seikatsu Kyodo Kumiai, or Haikyo for short. It's a talent agency located at Sendagaya, which is near Shibuya City. Her earliest anime debut was back in 2012 as Asako Natsume from Tonari no Kaibutsukun. And ever since then, she has been in numerous animes. Four OVAs, six original net animation, about six pairs of eggs in the number of anime films, countless video games, plus the MC from one of my favorite anime of all time, Lisa from Zenkyo no Terra. For Tanizaki-san, she received quite an influx of casting calls for mostly supporting roles in her late 20s, 
including a number of titles you may not even know that she was in. Ever heard of Rasko Does Not Dream of a Bunny Girl Senpai? B-Star? Um... Oh no... <laughs> or Blend Sadistic? How about Orisa from Overwatch? Such unknown roles that actually brought her the title of Best Supporting Voice Actress at the 14th Annual CU Awards in 2020. However, it was not until the post-apocalyptic lockdown that she had the opportunity in regards to her peak popularity, as she took on additional main roles in Vivi, List of the Bluebird, and one of the smug telepathic sweet child in the spring of 2022 anime season. <gasps> Fun fact, when working on adult rating materials, Tanisaki-san uses five different aliases. Now that's a lot of persona. With the recent contributions to the lead running shows of popular seasons, Tanisaki-san is slowly building up the portfolio of roles that really demonstrated her ranges. From quiet, introverted individual to a buff feminine character who looks like she's about to whoop your ass up. Which continuously blows my mind every time I look up her entire glossary. This is the kind of character diversity that will put Tanizaki-san on par with her fellow senpai that she idolizes, such as Miyuki Sawashiro and Mayumi Tanaka. And I'm certain that Tanizaki-san will hit her marks and become one of the most recognizable CU in the industry. Even a prominent illustrator too, especially knowing that she has aspired to be part of kids anime, along with playing some more male characters, since she has always been fascinated with the fact that a seiyu can play a character of the opposite gender. We simply would like to wish her the best and are looking forward to many more anime seasons ahead. And as usual, if you like the things that I do, please consider leaving a like, drop a comment, and make sure to subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon too so you would get an update on what's to come. That is another wrap for another CU Highlights. I'm Space Sajobs, and I shall see you on the flip side.